Um, the, you talk, you speculated last week, memorably and pithily, that you thought that they would cause trouble. Yes. I'm sure they did, did they? They did. Well, they were, I thought they were like petulant teenagers, really. Um, if they didn't got the, what, get what they wanted, they would leave. I and they left was, early? They did leave early. They left um, before the pageant on Sunday. But they also didn't go to anything else, you see. They... Um, they wanted to stay as together as a family. I mean, that's a nonsense thing, you know. You're with your family the whole time. You don't sort of use that as an excuse as if you're so close. Um, I thought it was a very poor show. I also was most furious when they uh, were... We saw them through a car window. Harry had made a huge fuss about the protection and he's suing the Home Office because they haven't given him enough protection in the past or haven't for the present or the future. And there he was in a car with black windows, so they've obliged them with that so nobody could see who it was. And they both opened the windows right down and started waving at the people. But that was an indication to me they couldn't be out of the spotlight. However, that is very dangerous. Someone can throw a bomb in or a load of tomatoes in through the window. I mean, you make yourself very vulnerable. You see so the price of tomatoes. I <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't waste a, them on that pair. It's such, it's such a hypocrisy, isn't it? And yeah. actually, they also flew back on a, a jet that cost... £160,000, but that's their business. But it put out 10 times more carbon emission than a normal plane would. Now, here we've had them telling us all we mustn't fly, we must be careful, we must listen about what's happening to the Commonwealth and the, every, the whole world. Of it. We mustn't let all this carbon emission carry on. And there they are doing it themselves. And I think it's so terrible because they don't discuss it with us and say, how can we all improve? They just give a lecture. They tell us what to do as if they know much more than any of us when they're not scientists, they're not experts. But that's how they feel. They're very, very grand. And